Hi, I'm Jeff from CMAC. Today I'd like to share with you some tips on how you could be a great producer of a multi-camera studio show. We'll go over all producer responsibilities and how to organize your production from start to finish. Producing a multi-camera studio show is exciting and challenging. If done correctly, it's also a heck of a lot of work. First of all, make sure that a multi-camera studio production is what you really need. Is your show going to be live or recorded live to disc? The studio is the safest and easiest way to produce your show. This means you, the producer, have to be very organized and have every detail spelled out in advance. In a live event, you get no second chances, so you need to minimize your mistakes. So be more thorough in your pre-production planning. There will be elements that take you by surprise, so be ready to deal with them. When in pre-production planning, make your creative decisions now and not later. Organization and communication is the key to a smooth production. There are a thousand ways to mess something up, but much fewer ways to get it right. It pays for a producer to be a little paranoid when planning their production. Selecting a great director is key to a successful production. The director is your partner and will be in charge of the production crew when you're in rehearsal and the actual performance. Work with your director closely and help make their job easier by organizing every production detail. Selecting a reliable crew is something a producer and director should agree on. You will want your crew to be talented and on time. Work closely with your director as they are in charge of the production while it is being recorded and or broadcast. A producer is the organizer and arranges all production details in advance. The producer supports the director and provides all information, such as production schedules, venue scheduling, crew position assignments, rundowns, script, talent, props, sets, craft services, and provides support during the actual production. And remember, no production is ever truly free. There are always hard costs like SD cards, hard drives, props, costumes, and food for the crew. The producer should make and go over a checklist of all elements in the production with the director. The number of cameras, microphones, personnel, chairs, tables, tablecloths, teleprompter file, backgrounds, B-roll, graphics, CGs, music, sound effects, recording media. Be specific and write it down. After pre-production is completed and everything is scheduled, the producer and director should meet with the talent and crew at the beginning of rehearsal and go over the script and rundown to get everyone participating on the same page. Now the rehearsal starts and the producer needs to turn control over to the director who will manage the actual production. The producer is now in a support role to the director. There can only be one person at a time calling shots during the production, and that is the director. If the director has a question, the producer is there to help them. Now that you have your production recorded, you can start working on the post-production to clean it up and finish any required editing to complete all elements, such as credits, titles, and identifiers or subtext. When the program is ready to air, the producer should arrange for air times with CMAC programming. Once the program runs on CMAC, you may arrange to run it on other platforms such as YouTube, Facebook, etc. If you have the desire, you can make a 30 second promo to run on the CMAC carousels to promote your program. Most of the CMAC multi camera studio productions are either talk shows, lectures, musical artists, and other performances. Most CMAC producers, if they can't get a full crew, will multitask. You can combine producer and director, TD, or producer talent. It is best to have a technical director and an audio person if you can swing it. Producers have directed, switched, and run audio simultaneously. Depending on the production, like a talk show, you can lock down some cameras and have a camera operator act as a floor director and camera operator. Music shows or other performance programs should have an operator on every camera to follow the action and possibly use a fourth camera to be a handheld or jib cam. A good producer needs to see the big picture, but also understands and deals with the smallest details. Remember the stages of the production process, pre-production, production, and post-production. You are only as good as your pre-production work. Organize and attend to each and every detail. Whether you are going live or recording to disc, make sure you have all elements settled in advance. Being prepared will make the production better and more enjoyable for everyone. If you like this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And be sure to check out our playlist of other tutorials. You can stay up to date on all things CMAC by following us on social media. Learn how you can become a CMAC member with access to equipment, editing tools, and other resources by going to cmac.tv.